If you ever wanted to learn how to batch watermark your photos in Photoshop, you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you how to do this in just a few simple steps. The result will look like this. Ok, let's get started. Step 1. Find a photo with the smallest resolution in the batch to avoid a pixelated look of your watermark because Photoshop will not be able to scale it down. Open the photo in Photoshop. Step 2. We need to create an action. Open Actions, click Create New Action, enter the action name, for example Watermark, and hit Record. Photoshop will start recording all of your actions inside it. You can close the Actions panel, Photoshop will continue recording your actions. Step 3. Select the Horizontal Type tool and click on the photo to add a string of text. Tap anything you wish. It can be the name of your brand or your website address. You can add a copyright symbol by pressing 0, 1, 6 and 9 while holding ALT if you are using Windows and if you are a Mac user hold ALT or OPTION and press G. Step 4. Select Edit free transform, then resize and arrange the text layer. Also you can select both layers by pressing shift and clicking on the second layer. Select the move tool, then click the arrange buttons in the main toolbar. This step is very important because it keeps the watermark position fixed on every photo, otherwise Photoshop will put it into different places on different photos. Step 5. Select the text layer and click Layer, Layer Style, Bevel and Emboss or FX button in the bottom, right here. Layer Style dialog will open. You might play around with the settings, but the default ones usually work, so you can just leave them intact and click OK. Step 6. Set Fill to 0 to keep the bevel effect only. Step 7. Open Actions and click the Stop button to stop recording. We don't need the photo anymore, so you can close it. It is better to discard changes because it will be watermarked anyway. It was just a preparation and now we are ready to start batch watermarking. Step 8. Go to File, Scripts, Image Processor. In the first section you need to select your source folder. You can include all subfolders if you want. In the second section you have to select your destination folder. You can save your files in the same location if you want. In the third section you need to choose the file type. The last section is preferences. Click on run action and choose your watermark action. Once you're done with the settings, click run. There is another way to batch process your photos. Click file, automate, batch. Set watermark group and action. Set Source to Folder, click on Choose and select your Source folder. Set Destination to Folder. Remember that the Save and Close option will overwrite your photos, so don't choose it if you don't want to lose your pictures. Click Choose and select any folder for output files. Click OK to start batch watermarking. When Photoshop is about to save a photo from the batch, the Save As dialog will open and you will have to choose JPEG in the file type bar. Set the desired quality and click OK. But what if your watermark is cropped on some photos? As it had been already mentioned, Photoshop does not scale down watermarks and the option of choosing the smallest photo in the batch doesn't always work. Fortunately, our app, Visual Watermark, can scale down your watermarks to fit them perfectly into your photos. It makes the whole process of batch watermarking a lot easier and more efficient. That's it. Thank you for watching.